Hey Teachers on Fire, it's Tim KB back with another Teachers on Fire tech tip for you today. I'm going to bring you a quick repost function, not only on Seesaw, but also on Google Classroom. Watch how fast we can do a repost and just recycle information that we've already developed and laid out in the past. We're going to do this super efficiently. We're starting here in Seesaw at the IT test page so that you can't see the names of my students. I'm going to go to the green plus sign that says add. I'm going to select assign activity. I'm going to grab a past activity. Let's use Rosa Parks. And I love these editing exercises. You'll get a better look at it here in a moment. Instead of hitting assign, I'm going to go down to the three little dots right here and select copy and edit activity. That's going to make me a copy just like the Google Classroom repost. And I'm going to call this one Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman, it's got all of my instructions for students and some information for parents about what we're doing and the learning target, uh, all about the goal of this learning activity. I need to delete the template that was attached to the Rosa Parks activity, so I'm deleting here, and I'm going to show you how I'm making a new template. So I grab these PDFs from Education World. If you don't know about them, they're fantastic. If you teach middle school, you should get in line get on board there we go with the education world everyday edit activities this is what they look like you get these beautiful pdfs that you can print out at your school's photocopier but i'm going to grab this and use it for seesaw so here i go i'm doing uh, command shift four to select part of the screen and then save to my desktop let's do that then we're going back to seesaw and we're going to add template for student responses upload file Let's go to select from computer and look around on my desktop. I know I've got way too many files on my desktop, but here we go, Harriet Tubman. There's the graphic, the JPG file that I need. We're gonna hit the plus sign. This is what it looks like. Students can hit this microphone. They can, no, we're not going to do that right now. They can start recording their way through and then use the pencil tools to actually show me where the 10 mistakes are and explain why they are mistakes. That is the really important thing to me. So they're going to go through that once I post it. For now, we're just going to hit that green plus sign. See, it says Harriet Tubman. They've got, students have got that template. Now we're going to hit save and the assignment has not been assigned yet. It's not been posted. It's ready to go though. So I'm going to assign and select my class, 8CA, assigned to one class. There we go. Let's view activity on 8CA. Okay, there it is. Now, very important, down here, we're going to hit the three dots and get student link. That student link is going to come in. Uh, it's going to be helpful. What was I going to say? It's going to come in hand. There we go. There's the expression. Expressions are failing me right now, folks. Over in Google Classroom, my other... Play. And I like to say classroom is where they do the work. Seesaw is where they show the learning or classroom is where they do the learning. There we go. And Seesaw is where they show the learning. So in classroom, I get to use the repost function again. And I'm going to select, uh, let's select the Rosa Parks activity. And I'm going to repost. So don't look too hard at all of my assignments. We need to get rid of this old Seesaw link and add the new one. Remember, I copied and pasted that link or copied rather the link from Seesaw. There I am pasting it. So I'm adding link that will allow students to click right onto this link and go directly to my Harriet Tubman uh, editing assignment. There it is, Harriet Tubman. Uh, we've got the new title. If I want, I can add a rubric. I'm going to say this is going to be due tomorrow. And I think, yes, uh, so I have a bit of a rubric set up. I can develop that further later. And I'm going to hit assign. And so that assignment is live. And all of that has been posted on Seesaw and on Google Classroom in under five minutes. I just saved a ton of time and I'm ready to go. My students are ready to demonstrate their learning on Seesaw and it will show up in their to-do list on Google Classroom as well. You're welcome. I <laughs> hope, hope this comes in handy for you.